Jerron Salah Pottis LLC, welcome back. Communication skills, right? That's what we're talking about. I believe that the world is faced with the problems that we are faced with today because of lack of communication. And I believe that this is a disease, right? I, I believe that this is an internal disease. And I start with myself, right? Because we all have to work on our communication. And a lot of the problems that we are faced with in life, I believe sincerely in my heart that it stems from a lack of communication. Again, I start with myself, right? Uh, communication skills is so important, you know, d dealing with business, dealing with family, dealing with customers, dealing with complaints, you know, dealing with challenges. I believe that, you know, with communication, half the battle is done, right? Now, me personally, you know, I'm, I'm not the average person, right? I could come across as strange, <laughs> you know, misunderstood very often. And I get that a lot from people. And I understand because I don't, I don't do things that normal people or average people would do. You know, I tend to think very strategically, you know, my schedule, my 24 hours, how I can how I use my time, you know, is not like the average person. So I get that a lot and I understand, right? But, you know, anybody that know me on a personal level will know that once you get to know me, that is a different side of me that the majority of people that I embrace or I allow to come and get close to me. If my spirit take them, you right, they, you know, they love me, man, they love me. And this is communication. Communication is so important, right? And if you don't have patience, then Lack of patience is a lack of communication, and most people don't have patience to take the time out to try to understand somebody, or if not understand, or ask them questions. Because a lot of times, assumption, right, is preceded by a lack of communication. When you assume things is because there's a lack of communication. You ever, you ever had a problem with somebody or you ever had a misunderstanding and then you approached the person and then, or you spoke to the person and then you realize, or maybe you ain't like the person and then y'all finally broke the ice and then you realize, man, everything what I heard about you ain't true, man. Like, yo, you actually a cool person, man. I like being around you. You know, and you just see a whole different side and then it just expand your mindset. And you realize that, wow, man, you are, like in, in some cases, you almost feel bad for thinking the things that you thought about the person because you was assuming rather than just breaking the ice. But that's what that's the power of communication, man. When you communicate, right, all the gaps is filled between, right? It don't leave you guessing. It, 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 you know, puts more peace inside your soul, right? It make you more comfortable, build your confidence, right? And it makes life easier for everybody, right? Because life is complicated, but if we can make it easier by communicating, then, I mean, half the battle was done, right? So, never assume, and I say that as a reminder to myself, ask questions, get to know the person, see what's going on. You never know, right? Everybody's fighting a battle that you know nothing about, right? So never assume, right? And give people the benefit of the doubt, right? I learned that through trial and error. 
especially doing business, right? Giving people the benefit of benefit over the doubt. I mean, it's priceless.